Hi everyone, my name's Anne-Marie. Welcome to this new episode of Cup TV brought to you by Craft Shoe Print at www.craftshoeprint.com. Today we're going to look at a gorgeous kit from Nadge Burgess, which is passionate crafting. The cup number is Cup 1025025 underscore 20051 and it's called Flawless One. It's got four sheets in the kit and it's for an 8x8 card. Now it fits a true 8x8 card and I've actually made my own base. I'll show you the base that I've made just from two sheets of A4 for the card. It is a beauty and I'd like to run through the sheets that you get in the actual kit. So the first sheet is the base image that we will put on the front of the card and it's got a sentiment on it says may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Now there is a sheet with the same image on with no sentiment which you could use on the front if you wanted to add your own sentiment or you could use as an insert. We're going to use it as an insert today. Nadge has included some extra sentiments and some bows as well to help with the extra decoupage. The next sheet is two layers of decoupage. Now you can either go with the full layer of decoupage with the sentiment in or you can go for the full layer without the sentiment depending on whether you're using the extra or not. And We've got some extra butterflies as well. Then we've got some more decoupage to build up the florals and the actual makeup on the collection on the front. And then we've got the sheet with no sentiment which you could use as the insert or you could use on the front and build up and add your own sentiment. And then we've got two of the smaller designs that you could use either for an envelope seal or I'm going to use one on the back of the card just to tie the card in and you would be able to add your own name in the blank label. So let's make the card. What I've done for this card is because it's for a true 8x8 card or larger. Now I do know that there's some 9x9 9 9 inch square blank cards on the market but if you don't happen to have any and you need to make a true size 8x8 card all I've done is taken two sheets of A4 I've cut one at 8 by 8 inches and I've cut one at 9 by 8 inches. I've made a score along the edge of one to make it into a 1 inch fold tab and then I've stuck one of the squares, the 8 by 8 square, to the actual square with the tab and just folded it over and I've used a bone folder to make sure I've got a nice sharp crease along the side. I'm going to use mine with the score to the top of the card and I'm going to start by adding the label that's blank that's an extra included in the kit to the back of the card. I've got double sided tape on the back and I just have to peel the back away and I can add this I could add my name to the actual label and add a handmade by and then the person receiving the card would know who's made it for them. So now I'm going to create the inside. Now you can see the line where I've joined the A4 for the actual card base. So the insert will cover that so you won't see it for anybody that doesn't like to show any of the mechanics of a card. So this is the insert or the front of the card without the sentiment on. So you can use it for either. I've got flat double sided tape on the back of this and I'm simply peeling the back of it away and we're going to place it in the centre of the card like so. I'm going to press it down and there's a nice amount of room for your message for you to and from for the inside of this card. Now we can go on to the front and create that. So I've taken the main image with the sentiment already on that Nadge has designed. I've got double sided tape on the back of it and I'm just peeling the back of the tape away. And I'm going to place this on the front of our card. There we go. So it just sits in the centre and I can press it down 
and now we can build up the decoupage on the card. So the first layer that I've taken, I've cut out from the decoupage sheet, I've cut around the flowers and I've got 3D foam on the back and I can build up the layer with the florals and the makeup on and just place it over the previous image on the base of the card. Next, I've taken the part with the florals and the blusher, the lipstick, the pencils and the brush. I've cut it out, I've added 3D foam on the back and I can just position that over our previous layer to build up the image. Then we've got the foundation, the nail varnish and the lipstick and we can just build the image together and add those gorgeous layers. I've got some florals for the corner again on 3D foam and I'm simply positioning them over the top of the previous layer to build it up. Now you can use as much of the decoupage as you like or as little. I've got some more of the flowers for the corner and another of the flowers for that layer. I've also taken one of the extra sentiments and it says with love to someone very special and I'm just going to slip that to one side of the actual decoupage. There we go. So we can add our own sentiments and then I've just taken two of the butterflies and I've just added a touch of glitter on the edge of the butterfly wings and I'm going to add them, one at the side of the florals at the bottom and the second one I think on one of the flowers at the top. There we go. And that is our card finished. Now we can see the layers that we've built up and how beautiful it is and the inside matches the outside perfectly and the back just ties it all together and you can see more of Nadji's creations on Craft Shoe Print. I'd just like to remind you of the cup number and it's cup 1025025 underscore 20051 and I would just like to say thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time.